Argentina, deep in the southern hemisphere, but now in this jet age, only hours away. For all her magnitude, one quarter of Argentina's 20 million people live here in Buenos Aires. The mood and flavor of this great city grip the traveler. There is a mellowness here, a settled charm reminiscent of Paris. The very name, Buenos Aires, means city of the good airs. There are subways, the only ones in Latin America. Despite that outward air of leisure, Buenos Aires is a true metropolis. She builds cars and refines oil, packs meat, prints books, trades with the entire world. Buenos Aires is older than New York by a generation, and she too owes much of her greatness to immigrants who speak German, Italian, and English, as well as Spanish. But there's time to relax, too. Coffee break wherever you are. The coffee bar and the coffee clutch mix leisure and pleasure, business and friendship. The Argentine Congress. The statue of Jose de San Martin. He led the revolutionary armies of Spanish America in Chile and Peru, as well as Argentina. The Casa Rosada, or Pink House, Argentina's presidential mansion. Argentina's president is chief executive of a land the size of Europe, not including Russia. The changing of the guard. The Avenida Santa Fe, one of Buenos Aires' many great shopping streets. A great place for browsing and for shopping. The curios in this shop derive from the ornate traditional gear of the Argentine gaucho. There was a time when only the Inca nobles were permitted to wear vicuña. The barbecues remind us that Argentina is one of the world's prime cattle raising lands. Construction crews appoint one of their number to oversee the matter of lunch a la Argentina. Better than something from a lunchbox. The city has many neighborhoods of differing character. The gardener, however, is a citywide personality in Buenos Aires, living right within the parks, the better to take care of them. There are dozens of parks to keep the concrete at bay. Polo is 
a great popular sport, and there are a good many fields where it is played. The thousands of well-dressed fans wouldn't be seen at a game without coat and tie. Harkening to the rough old days and the pompous of yesteryear, when the gauchos used a duck in a leather bag with head and tail protruding, is this game called pato, or simply duck. Buenos Aires by night. Beef is king. Each steak has its own pedigree from one of the great cattle farms that dot the Great Plains. The Teatro Colon, one of the world's great opera houses, where a recital, a symphony, and an opera have been known to take place within one single day. The city is never more a glitter than here, where you dress to fit the occasion. <laughs> Scores of restaurants and night spots. And in the famed waterfront section of La Boca, informality is the rule. Buenos Aires goes for a season or a weekend. Mar del Plata, the greatest of all resorts in the Southern Hemisphere, some 250 miles south of Buenos Aires. Mar del Plata's government-owned casino is the largest in the world. It offers many games, but above all, roulette. The casino uses all its winnings for public and charitable works. Another favorite resort, Bariloche. For thousands of square miles, the traveler views the majesties of Argentina's national parks in the heart of the lake region. Uncrowded, unspoiled. The town of Bariloche, two and a half hours by air from Buenos Aires, the center for tours through Argentina's great temperate zone wilderness. A favorite stopping place is the Yao Yao Hotel. Here in the Lake District of Argentina, the flowers are themselves an inland sea of color and movement under the Yao Yao tree.
Here, near Bariloche, the very tree trunks of the forest are abloom and twisting together. Such are the Arajanus, unlike any other tree in the world. Streaked with subtle colors, the Arajanus are protected as an Argentine national treasure. thousand miles to the north, Argentina shares a magnificence of falling water with neighboring Brazil and a surrounding wilderness with Paraguay, too. The falls of Iguazu, two miles wide and more than 200 feet high, dwarf all others. Planes fly here, roads lead here. To the south, Buenos Aires throbs with metropolitan movement. But here, the abiding wilderness presents that other face of Argentina. 